Hey, hey, hey. So here are my two commanded writers. Um, <clears throat> good evening. Good evening, everyone. Good evening and welcome. Good evening. We are, good evening. We are here once again on a Thursday, um, ready to basically wrap it up. Um, tonight, we are going to be covering one of the last topics in, uh, you know, in, in the module. And we are also going to be talking about a few things that are sort of random, because yes, I'm going to be honest, they are sort of random, but still, they are going to be um, pr proving their usefulness. I think there might be some, um, whatchamacallit, some reading as well, if you guys want, you know, we can go ahead and, and do some reading. Um, but I would rather, you know, of course, complete the information that we have um, that has to do, well, with um, acronyms, you know, most important acronyms in English or the most common acronyms in English. So that's my idea, the expectation that I have for this evening or uh, what I would like to get to work with you guys um, this evening. Now, uh, I hope you guys are doing great and, uh, you know, that you are ready for the weekend. And actually, tonight, that's going to be um, the topic because, yes, tonight we're going to go back into that, into asking, you know, a question. And it's that question. So, yeah, I would like to hear from you guys. What are your plans or expectations for um, this coming weekend? So let's get to um you know to share and i think we're gonna start by hearing from imelda in your case imelda do you have any plans for this coming weekend um, good evening yeah, I, I hope um we can go to take dinner uh, sunday because my Cousin is Thursday is okay Thursday, September seventh. Mm -hmm. So uh, I hope we can because this is um, the past Sunday we can't because the rain. So well. <laughs> Hopefully, you know, this time the rain is gonna is not gonna be a um a problem. So yeah, it's I mean, I hope that you know it's it's a a sunny and perfect day to um to go out and that you have fun, you know, with the family or the people that is going to join you on the um you know on the plan. Ooh. I hope so. Thank you. <laughs> Ok, por un momento me quedé, ¿será que me congelé? Porque es que Luis y Lorena estaban quietos, así yo dije, no puede ser. I'm, I'm watching the car, my no, cat. Están jugando no, las estatuas de Marfil. No, yo dije, no puede ser, justo hoy tenía que fallar el internet, pero no, it didn't. Ok, so, uh, así que no hagan eso, por favor. Miren que si están así me dan un ataque hoy. Bueno, uh, so, yeah, um... Great, Imelda. I hope you have an amazing time, you know, at uh, at the uh, at the dinner. How about in the case of uh, Carla? How about you? Do you have any special plans for this coming weekend? Hi, teacher. Um, yes, hey this one. Uh, I will go to the studio uh, to take a photo from um, from me of me. Sorry, oh. uh, for my university degree. Um, I don't know, maybe, um, and uh, then after, uh, after that, maybe I go to, to brunch with my mom and that's all, maybe rest all the weekend because, uh, all week, uh, work is hard mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> and, and I don't know, this, this, this is the only uh, special, I mean, uh, thing that I have to do on Sunday. Great. Very good. You know, it's, it's always nice to, um, well, you have to run that errand first, that, which is the, the, the photo thing. But it's always nice to, like, try to spend time with the family. And in your case, you know, going to that brunch is, of course, something um, great that you can do with, um, with your mom, you said, right? So um, hopefully 
it's you know it's a, a great day also to go to brunch i hope sunday is amazing you know for all of you um how about in the case of uh luis do you have any special plans luis or where are we going to have coffee this weekend <laughs> good evening good evening yes it is the same like same routine for all, all, all weekends but in special by this weekend I will visit to uh, some person to the to the to the fields we have a uh, a lot and uh, we will see the uh, some person that live in that uh, lot oh. right <laughs> okay. I don't know how to say lot but well that that uh -huh. that is that is in special that I will do for for this oh. week. Okay, you yeah. can say lot, you can say lot, or you can also say piece of land. I mean, the piece of land thing is como bien, bien, bien literal, pero podríamos decir lot. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank okay. you. That that's all. <laughs> all right. Nice. Um. Now the problem with using the word lot is que lot también se utiliza para referirnos a lotes en el sentido de um, la fabricación de, de algunas cosas, ¿verdad? Sabemos que hay muchas cosas que se fabrican por lotes. So lots can also be, um, be referred to as that. So lot can be both of those things. Um, so that's why some people feel it like it's easier to say piece of land. You know, I have like a piece of land that I want to go see and yeah. Um, if you want... If it's like a, a a large place, you can also measure it in acres. Acres are like uh, like a similar thing to um, manzanas, I think. I'm not sure on the measurements if it's like close or how far I am, but I think you know it's it's like there there. Okay, how about in the case of Rosa? Do you have any special plans for this weekend, Rosa? Um, 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 my plan. Is so we can um mm -hmm. um I um I take to my laundry in my house. Okay. Because, and also um and also I eat um, because of my family. All right. Great. Very good. Yeah, I mean, doing laundry and cleaning the house and also eating pupusas. That's a perfect plan for a weekend, I think. I mean, the part of eating pupusas, not the part of cleaning the house. It's great, of course, but it's not like perfect. It's just, you know, an obligation that we have. But the part of eating pupusas is, of course, going to be a perfect plan. So great. Very good. I hope everything goes, you know, amazing and smoothly and uh, that you can enjoy uh, what you do this weekend. Already, how about in the case of uh, Lorena? I haven't asked you. How about you? Do you have any special plans this coming weekend? No, no maybe, well, on Saturday we'll go to the doctor and have an appointment in the morning. In the, in the afternoon, I, I always go to teach at the church. At the church, uh-huh. Yeah, and on Sunday, maybe we'll go with my husband, to have a reunion with some other couples mm -hmm. just to, to share, no? but it's like, maybe I'm not have anything. Any, like, anything like a special, yeah, special or like yeah. a highlight. All right. <laughs> it's okay. But still, you know, things can happen and, and hopefully the weekend goes um amazing. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. So how about in the case of um Melanie? How about you, Melanie? Do you have any special plans this coming weekend? Not really. I think I'm just spending the weekend in my house with my family. Okay, that's nice. You know, as, o as I always say, spending time with family or friends is something that can cure the soul and can make you um, feel millions of times better uh, when you do it right or when you, you know, when when things go right, not when you do it right, but when things go right, when there are no like um, problems or stuff. Um, Cause yeah, having a great time with family, it's always going to be welcome. Um, okay. So thank you. Thank you very much. How about you, Leslie? Any special plans this coming weekend? 
apart from tomorrow, of course. You're not a teacher. <laughs> apart from tomorrow, of course. I, I've been this moment for all my life. <laughs> yeah, I, so I am ex tomorrow. Yeah, I am expecting, you know, um tomorrow so bad. Ah, uh, yeah. The weather is so bad, but doesn't matter. Yeah. We'll enjoy all the concert and I'm so excited for that. Um um, actually, I've made t-shirts. Wow, that's I great. That. Yeah, I'm ready for a <laughs> cry or a scream. Me yeah. and my girlfriend, we don't even know what to wear. <laughs> but that's uh, great. I think so, it's comfortable. That, that's what I was thinking as well, you know, a short and a, and a tank top. No, I'm just kidding. But yeah, yeah. and tennis. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that would be the perfect idea. Uh, but yeah, do you have any other special plans this coming weekend? Mm, on Saturday and Sunday, I spend time with my boyfriend. Okay. And rest. And I think it's all because uh, after the concert, yeah. maybe I can talk. <laughs> That's so, going to be me. That's going to be totally me. That's what happens to me all the time. I'm ready for that. <laughs> okay, great. Very good. Um, what time are you guys expecting to be there? Because you know you you mentioned the other day that maybe we can meet up. Mm, around five thirty. Wow, that's pretty early. Okay, so I'll try to be there. At, well, no, no, I think yeah, that's basically the same time that we plan to be there. Uh huh. Yeah, because before I thought the concert was at eight, so I told my girlfriend to be there at around no, six, it's but it's at seven. Seven. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But so. you need to there early. So yeah. The parking and, and all the people and the stress and mm -hmm. hot items. <laughs> yeah. So, um, yeah. I mean, if you can, you know, we can like uh chat or in it or something, and yeah. maybe we can we can get along and uh yeah meet tomorrow. So I send a message. All right. Great. Very good. How about uh in the case of Gabriela Cortez? How about you? Do you have any special plans this coming weekend? Good evening. Evening. Um, I don't have a special plan, but I, I, I will have a, a stay in my house with my daughter. I don't okay. have. Maybe Sunday, uh, we going to the park. I don't know. Okay. Great. You know, it's it's sometimes it's better when you don't have a plan because um anything that happens can turn into into a surprise and into something nice. So sometimes it's it's even better to like work with life like that. But yeah, hopefully everything also works amazing for you too. How about in the case of Miss Garcia? Do you happen to have any any special plans for this coming weekend? Well, I think I'm going to have a sad and boring weekend because my mom asked me for helping her to paint a uh, room of the house on Sunday. Mm -hmm. And I have a lot of work um, for my job. So mm -hmm. I'm going to be Busy. in house all the week. Uh, well, that those things are not, you know, enjoyable. However, painting is always fun. I mean, I work as a painter, so maybe that's why I'm saying that. But in my case, I prefer to paint than many other of uh, the things that I do. Uh, because I don't know, I just feel like painting is is so refreshing. Like depending on the color that you use and depending on like um the kind of paint that you use. But in my perception, I love to paint. I mean, it's something that I enjoy because I can see like the change and, and the, 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 how different things look. And uh, yeah, I love also to see the results when I do a good job. So I hope that you get to enjoy the painting and well, the... <laughs> not really, but okay. I hope that you <laughs> I do. will try to, be, to do yeah. my best. Play some music, you know, with painting is a good thing. Like you can play some music and you like, just like, you know, you can enjoy it. I don't know. In my, okay. In my case, as I said, uh, that's one of the easiest things that I do during my regular days uh, and I do enjoy it a lot um, so if you have any problems just call me and I can help you out <laughs> just kidding um, oh, okay <laughs> I, I will take that in account <laughs> yeah <laughs> sure 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 so yeah um, 
actually, you know, it, me and the people that I work with, we have actually done some works um, very, like, very deep into the country. We have we have worked or renovated houses in San Salvador even. So, yeah, it's like, I think distance cannot stop me. So if if it's, you know, for a friend, of course, I'll do it. Uh, but let's move on. How about we go ahead and talk about this? Exploring possibilities. This was a topic that we left pending on Tuesday, I think. Um, because, oh, no, wait, 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 wait. I had something else that I needed to ask you before. How did you guys feel yesterday writing? How was the process? Or um, did you like the activity at least? Or what did you think about it? Like, would you like to do more writing if it's like, you know, a, a passion that maybe it's hidden in you? Um, I would like to start maybe by hearing from Lorena, who was one of the ones that I saw, you know, working a little bit hard or harder. So, yeah. In your case, Lorena, what were your uh, perce what was your perception about the activity from yesterday? Yeah, it was interesting. Really, it helps to not just not just to imagine the the history and then to to turn in words mm -hmm. in the correct words in the correct time uh, it is like a a complete exercise because you have to be it is just in past in past participle even negative and and how to write the word and and you have to be playing with those with sort of things no Mm -hmm. And then I think that it's a complete, complete exercise. All right. Because we used to to well, I I used to to watch videos or to work in, in listening and but writing maybe we don't have enough experience doing that. Yeah, we almost never do writing. So yeah, that's why I thought you know that's what I thought yesterday. I thought like hey, writing could be good because um yeah, these guys are we don't have any more topics so. I think that writing, you know, could be something that we can try because um, I actually had never done it before uh, with a with a group. I mean, with a group here at Corporativo. Uh, but uh, yeah, I feel like, you know, it would be great. Um, I was thinking yesterday before uh, assigning the, 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 the exercise that I was going to sign something larger, like, you know, creating a story in groups of uh, around three pages. But then I thought, homework is not ideal because I know that you guys have busy lives and you'd have to do things apart from from here um so yeah that's why I decided to do something shorter but still nice thank you very much for sharing how about in the case of uh, someone like Luis how did you feel Luis with the activity yesterday with the writing activity uh, very good sir. very good I feel that all, all the group uh, was uh, was a uh, gather to to say any opinion about we write all together the the history and the uh, yeah I feel good for that. Yes. Okay, great, nice. Thank you for sharing. How about we're gonna we're only gonna listen to a few of you guys because I want to get you know into the topic that I have for tonight, but I would like to hear maybe from um Miss Garcia. How did you feel? Um, and I have a specific question for you. Do you think that having a smaller groups will be beneficial for an activity like that, or did you feel like the amount of people in the group was okay for for such an activity? Okay. Uh. I think that it should be better working in a smaller group because mm -hmm. uh, it was a cool experience, different. I, th I think we worked together, but uh, it was a little bit di uh, difficult because in my opinion, right, uh, work online is difficult to to get all the, the ideas together and, and we're just uh taking account the um um the ideas of of a short group not all of the group mm -hmm. maybe because we're not seeing each other and i, I think it's better in in, in it's specific modern. yeah it's like three three or 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 four yeah mm -hmm. yeah 
Yeah, that's what I thought. I, I was sharing that with the other group. I wasn't with you guys because the other group was done, you know, already. And I ask you this because I, I, I could notice like how you guys were kind of not struggling, but kind of dealing with, you know, the um like getting together all the details and like putting the story together and uh, how some ideas came from this way, other ideas came from the other way. And that's why I thought that maybe, you know, smaller groups could work better. The problem that I see with that is that sometimes there are people who are, what you might call it, maybe less creative and that will become or a struggle. Shy. Or shy. Yeah. And that will become a struggle because um, they will not be able to like, to like produce, you know, in the same way. And in larger groups, it's like they can take the example. But if we do something similar to this, because I was planning on like doing something like a debate or, you know, an activity like that. And um, because we still have some time. So if we do something similar, I assure you, it's going to be in a smaller groups because I do want to to like uh, take into consideration what you guys said um, on the last course, like giving you more chances of producing. So that's what I'm planning to do for the next week. You know, having you um, use your English more. And uh, yeah, it's going to be more about you. It's going to be more breakout rooms. It's going to be more um, things that you have to, will have to work with. And I hope that you're ready, you know, for the task and that you can um, go ahead and do things like those. So, yeah. Um, a mí me gusta el drama, honestamente. Y fue, de hecho, lo primero con lo que yo empecé en la U. Eh, hice que un grupo se peleara con otro porque los puse a debatir. Así que si se pelean, bueno, <ríe> creo que es la última vez que les voy a dar clases. So... <ríe> you're going to have that memory of me. You know? Y ese gato que vuela. <ríe> Jeez. Okay, but uh, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna see because I hope that you know we can get to um to do activities like those in in a in a few um in a few days. How about Imelda? In your opinion, Imelda, how did you feel with the activity last night? Well, it was entertainment because um I even feel that the time and oh. I. I told the, uh, Lorena mm -hmm. that I I write, but in Spanish. So yeah. it was a a challenge. A challenge. And uh -huh. I, I like. All right, nice, very nice. So, uh, we might try, you know, to emulate, uh, something that I wanted to do with you guys since last um last module was that I wanted to create conversations conversations that then we will maybe share with other group for that group to practice uh, but i think that that is like too easy for your level so i think that we're going to do more of like as i said um like a debate you know sort of thing um and maybe maybe doing a little bit of research it's never bad you know to do some research and to like create a report here like live um you have been doing the the um the report things And uh, I think that is also something that helps you to like investigate and read more. But yeah, we're going to do more activities like those in the coming week. So please be ready for that. And I, I know that you guys are going to be up to the task and that you're going to be successful, you know, in, in these activities. But let's see. Exploring possibilities. As I said before, this is mainly about what works with something else. Like what words can go with other words that will make them, you know, have like a full sense. Now, um, I think that I don't want to spend too much time here with this activity or with this um, topic. I want to move on into the next thing. Uh, but just to like have it clear, some of these words are not going to work with some of these other words. These are normally going to be used um, together. But for example, make is one of the words that um, cannot work, for example, with alternatives or possibilities. That Those two are not necessarily words that you're going to use uh, with make or with information. Analyze, we have already said. I told you that analyze um, is going to be very weird to use it with a um, alternative and possibilities. The rest of the words of these words are going to work with analyze. Explore. Explore is going to be weird to um, to use with a mistake and a problem. It's more common to explore situations, solutions, possibilities, alternatives, alternatives and, and information. Find. Find basically works 
with all of them. Uh, however, with a mistake, it's going to be weird. Okay, but find a problem, find a solution, find a situation, um, find alternatives, find facilities, find information. It's going to work with basically all of them, but a mistake. Organize. Organize is weird because um, this one will work amazing with things like organize um, a situation, organize alternatives, possibilities, information, but it's going to be weird for you to organize as a mistake or organize a solution. Okay. So organize will not work necessarily well with a mistake or a solution. And then we have solve. Solve comes with basically all of them because you can solve a mistake, you can solve a problem, you can solve a situation. However, solving a solution is not going to be possible. Neither is going to be solving information. So solving alternatives and possibilities is weird, but might work. But these are this is the one that works with the least because um, a solution, you cannot solve it. Information, you cannot solve it. Alternatives and possibilities, it's going to be very hard for you to solve it. So that's basically how it works. That's like, you know, the organization that we have and how we are supposed to use this vocabulary. Um, so yeah, some of these works, as I said, words do not work properly with the other verbs that we have. So yeah, um, I don't know. Do you guys would like to, would you guys like me to clarify anything else apart? Uh, from this information, or is it clear to move on? Okay, seems like it is clear then. All right, so the info that I was excited to share with you was this, the most common acronyms in English. So we have tons of acronyms here, tons of things that, you know, um, you guys may know, but some others that are going to be a surprise. And I love to share this sort of information because it helps you to know more about the culture. Um, there are going to be words here that maybe um, you guys have never seen. And I hope that, you know, they're going to help you at some point. So we'll start with the first one, NASA. Do you, do you have any idea of what's the meaning behind the acronym NASA? Oh, yeah, that's another thing. I would like you to participate actively tonight, you know, because I, I want to get, you know, if you have any idea, any idea that comes to mind, share it, please. I need you to talk tonight because, um, you know, I want to hear what are how creative you can be and what are some of the ideas that can come to your mind when you read these acronyms. So, yeah, NASA, do you have any idea, any any perception of what's the meaning behind NASA? No. No? Uh, I don't know. Maybe. Uh... Yes. Oh. No one else. Okay. Well, I'm going to give you this one then. Oh, yeah, Gabby. Sorry. No. Well, I think N could be for national. Okay. Mm. Oh, yeah. National. Yeah, you got it right. So, yeah. NASA, NASA is A the national. Llegó tarde, Imelda. <laughs> so, yeah. NASA is National Aeronautic, Aeronautics and Space Administration. Very, like, normal, I think. So, National Aeronautics and Space Administration. It's not an amazing name, but yeah. Scuba. Oh, easy. <laughs> yeah, right? National so Aeronautics. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. And I, I thought it was more complicated than that. No, it's, it's relatively easy. Now, how about scuba? Scuba is um, used normally to refer to things that have to do with diving, okay? So, scuba. Any ideas that can happen or through your brain? Self-contained under, underwater breathing apparatus. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm looking Yeah, because I don't have an idea. Yeah, self-contained underwater breathing apparatus. So yeah, that's scuba. It's basically, you know, a container, a tank for you to like dive with. So yeah, you can swim under the water under the water using uh, a scuba. So it's a self-contained underwater apparatus. Great. How about NBC? Esa es una que yo sé que han visto. Mm -hmm. Basketball Corporation, something like that. It's actually the National Broadcasting Company. 
It was very close, very close. But yeah, it's a national broadcasting company. So es la Compañía Nacional de Transmisiones. So NBC is the national broadcasting company. But yeah, your, you know, your idea was close. Captcha. Ese yo sé que la han visto. Esta, o sea, la han visto muchas veces. Many, many times. I'm, I'm not a robot. <laughs> yeah. And something like that. Copyright and something like that sounds, you know, sounds like something it might be. Um, I, 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 yeah. Uh huh. Great. How about uh, let's see? Maybe we can hear from Luis. What do you think captcha can be? Uh, captcha. I I saw this word in a movie. Mm -hmm. Like when one person uh, uh, see to another person making different uh, uh, activities, like uh, in Spanish, we can say, ya te vi, or ya te tengo, for example. Oh. That, that, yeah. is the, that is the word that I saw, but in a movie. No, that's in... with a G. That was close, but that's with a G. That's gacha. Gacha. Ajá, gacha. Okay. Ajá. Ya. Y de hecho sí se parece, el gacha. Sí, gacha. Ese es el que usted vio y ese significa así, te, te vi, ya te guaché, el gacha. Pero en este caso, el captcha is a, um, okay, completely automated public turning test to tell computers and humans apart. So it's a long, long name and... for captcha. Yeah, it's a completely automated public turing, turing no, sorry, turing test to tell computers and humans apart. So that's why, as Lorena said, with captcha, you have to prove that you're not a robot. Ahora, con esta ni les voy a creer, de verdad que ni les voy a creer a uh, Leslie, a uh, Gaby, um, a uh, Carla, que no sepan que, a uh, Rosa, por ejemplo, que es el YOLO. Sí. Les juro que me doy un tiro ahorita. Si no YOLO. Se... Ah. Sí. YOLO. Uh, sorry? You only live once. Uh -huh. There you, you go. Once. You only live once. Sí, eso. Sí. That's it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Sí, eso, eso, eso mismo dijo. Eso, cabalito, eso era. So, yeah. <laughs> Aquí lo tenía en la punta de la lengua. So, yeah, you only live once. That's YOLO. You know, YOLO. Ahora, for the rest, YOLO, el por qué les dije eso, o sea, así específico, es porque es una frase bastante verdad utilizada eh, por la chaviza no este en la en las redes y que se utiliza mucho para um, como justificar tomar riesgos innecesarios you know it's like something that you're not supposed to do but you do it because you only live once it's like okay yolo so yeah it's like um, the people who are sorry buy too uh huh yeah, yeah. Buy thing too. Yeah, when you buy things as well. That's also when you make uh, irresponsible economic decisions. Um, so, yeah, that's that's another way of using YOLO. Very good. Um, or like, for example, as I was going to say, the people who are going to come to see Los Temerarios in San Miguel from San Salvador, you know, they're going to say, okay, YOLO, like I'll go. Um, and this time we're going to get the upper hand. Okay, how about AT&T? Any idea of what AT&T can mean? Esa es una compañía muy grande en Estados yeah. Unidos. <laughs> Telephone. Mm -hmm. So, any idea of what AT&T can be? It's like, claro, but... <laughs> <laughs> claro, but yeah, in English. American... 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 Telephone. Okay. American telephone. I don't know what. American okay. telephone something else. American telephone something? It's yeah. American telephone and telegraph. American okay. telephone and telegraph. This is what tells you that it's a very old company. Because who knows how to use a telegraph anymore? Like, people don't use telegraph anymore. So, mm -hmm. y lo, lo demás pensando, ¿Ese telegraph es igual a telegram? No, it's not the same. So, yeah, American Telephone and Telegraph. So, AT&T, it's an antique, basically, when it comes to talking about um, businesses in the U.S. So, it's very, very, very old. Okay, IQ. This one is a word that we see all the time, see? El IQ. Hablamos bastante acerca de esto. Y verdad. En Spanish. Intelligent quantity o something like that. Ok. Intelligent quantity. Y Melda, usted dijo, perdón. I just say intelligent. Ah, oh, 
intelligent something. Um, Lorena? Yeah, inteligente. <laughs> coeficiente intelectual. Uh -huh. I don't know. Okay, so yeah, it Intellect was going to be intelligence quotient. Quotient. Yeah, intelligence quotient. Co so quotient, oh, sorry. So quotient is basically el coeficiente. So yeah, intelligence quotient is el inteligente, uh, perdón. Uh, coeficiente intelectual. So yeah, intelligence quotient. Uh, we, we should know how, um, how, how is the amount, huh? Yeah, yeah, that would be great. Do you have you ever taken a IQ test? Yeah, you know, my oh, husband have? is psychology. Oh, oh <laughs> yeah. okay, yeah, you're, you're his lab rat. Yeah, so, <laughs> yeah, something yeah. like that. Yeah, that happens, you know. I, I normally tell my girlfriend that whenever we have kids, it's gonna be the same. Like, I mean, <laughs> I'm a teacher, I'm a bilingual, so yeah. I'm gonna do whatever sort of uh exercise with them. I'm planning to do the next Piaget. <laughs> so, so yeah how about unicef okay no i'm not, I'm not gonna say unicef Me. because it's unicef uh yes leslie united nations children's fund all right so united nations children's fund yes so here the i is the one that is just there just Es como el amigo que invitaron a la fiesta y fue pero que nadie lo conoce o sea porque like where did it come from so yeah el amigo del amigo uh -huh. this is el amigo del amigo because this e uh, this is here you know it's a, you can say okay it's it's a, a children you know it's like there but the i is like yeah is it because of this i over here maybe but yeah unicef uh but yeah united nation nations children's fund how about hiv it's a tricky one i know but do you guys <laughs> have any idea of what hiv can stand for it's human Immunodeficiency Immun Immun virus. Uh -huh. virus. Very good. Human immunodeficiency virus. So, yes, you got it right. Very good. Sí, está fácil, ¿verdad? Eso estaba fácil. Ahora, we have more. Sí, eso es el principio. No, this is, this, uh, this is all of them. This is all of them. So, yeah. Um, we have this one. SWAT. In the movie, I, I, I watched SWAT. It's okay. like a like a police, but I don't know what that means. Oh, but now you're gonna know. A mí me gusta de hecho, saben eso, o sea, a veces pensar mm, eh, que de, que en algún momento, porque a mí me lo me lo me ha pasado en muchas ocasiones y tengo muchas memorias de cosas que me enseñaron eh, que fue así, simplemente en una cosa bien random, digamos. No sé si a ustedes alguna vez les he hablado acerca de por qué se utiliza el OK. ¿O saben ustedes qué significa el OK? No. ¿No? No. ¿No? OK. So. Um, I read it a lot, but. <laughs> it's, yeah, we use it a lot. And sometimes we don't know what it means. So it, the story goes that, um, and it's supposed to be a true story. OK, I'm saying it's supposed because I wasn't there. I wish I was, but I wasn't there. Um, the story goes that for the Second World War, when, you know, Americans were fighting Germany and all that, um, they needed codes because uh, all communication was supposed to be um, watched over and uh, uh, basically followed by the enemy. So they had to create codes to pass information around camps. And when platoons or when the, um, armies were mobilized, there were times when um, generals didn't really have a way of like seeing them. And they needed to get information on like the status of those people or how did the mission go. Um, so they say that when missions went, uh, were successful and no one was murdered, they used to say or send a message with simply an acronym as OK. That was it. That was what they sent. See, sí, un papelito con una O y una K. Pero... Esto era la idea, uh, era la idea que tomaron los, um, los alemanes. En realidad, esta O no era una O, era un cero, ¿sí? Era un cero y la K simplemente, pues, era lo mismo, un acrónimo. Así que esto significaba zero kills, which means that they were good, ¿sí? Que todo el mundo estaba bien. Entonces, OK, al principio era zero K, ¿sí? Pero después, como ya ustedes bien saben, 
el cero se conoce como O, y es a raíz de esto que se empezó a utilizar el cero como O, porque los alemanes confundieron en algún momento eh, el cero por una O, y según ellos era OK, y querían entender por qué era OK, qué significaba OK. Nunca se les ocurrió que era zero K, ¿sí? Entonces ellos decían OK. Así que de ahí, cuando los soldados regresaron a Estados Unidos after the war, they brought back their signature OK, and that's when every, it, it started um, to be used as a synonym of saying that everything is good, you know, that we are good. Um, so yeah, OK basically means zero kills, but nowadays we use it to say that everything is good. So there you have it. That's a detail that you can share at a party. Mm -hmm. Wow. Thank you. I like the history. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it's, it's, you know, one of the things that I love. Mm -hmm. I learned that from a teacher. And those are the sort of things that I like to share sometimes. You know, those kind of, oh, ah, oh, no, el swat. Bueno, <laughs> lo vio, Thank Imelda. You. <laughs> lo vio? Uh, thank you, teacher. <laughs> okay, you're we welcome. We won. <laughs> ya lo vieron. Bueno, swat. So what is a special weapons and tactics? It's, it's very easy. It's not too complicated. Um, and as you said, it's a group of police officers, but it's not like police officers, like regular police officers. These are basically like la humo. The uh, choriceros in El Salvador. Uh -huh. So yeah, <laughs> but basically, you know, SWAT is like la humo, you know, it's like a special, a special unit. Um, so yeah. SMH, have you guys ever seen this acronym? I think this one is one of the least common ones, so I'm just going to share it right on. Um, SMH is shaking my head. It's like when something went, went wrong, you know, I'm SMH. Esos son ya de los que tienen que ver con, con los mensajes, o sea, con, la, con el texto, ¿verdad? Yeah, so SMH is like shaking my head. Mm. Yeah, how about... I, I just know the word federal. Investigation, oh, I, oh I think. this one is one that I love. Yeah, this one I, I know it since a long time ago. Um, FBI, uh, any ideas for the rest of you guys? Um, Imelda says it's federal, which is great. Gabby, what's your idea? Uh, federal Bureau mm -hmm. in, of Investigation. Yes, Federal Bureau. That's how you say it, Bureau. Bureau of Investigation. So yeah, Federal Bureau of Investigation. Very good. So basically it means that it's, you know, the the um the group of people in charge of doing the investigation or uh, that work for the government. So yeah, FBI is the Federal Bureau of Investigation. Um I forgot about CIA. I didn't include CIA, but I think, you know, it's something we can look um look over later. So yeah, FBI, Federal Bureau of Investigation. I was thinking of another acronym. Do you guys know the meaning behind LOL, the typical LOL that we use, um, you know, when we're texting sometimes? Love, love, yeah, that. Okay. Uh, and have you ever seen this? Have you ever seen that acronym? Yeah. Okay. Maybe in 2008. <laughs> yeah. It was yeah. common. It was, it, was, it was very common. So this is how it all started. This was the original. You know, before LOL, this was, this was the one that people were using. And um, it has a bad word here, as you can imagine, by the word F, because always by the letter F, F always in acronyms is going to mean um, something bad, or at least in acronyms that are used by, by young people. Um, but yeah, this one, it means uh, laughing my F, as oh no it's like this yeah that's the one like that that's how it was supposed to be lmfao so it was laughing my uh effing ass off you know it was like um perdón verdad lo voy a decir sí como buen salvadoreño eh, ese lmfao básicamente se entendía como cagándome de la risa ahora después de eso ya la gente empezó a ser un poco más conservadora digamos y empezaron a utilizar el simple lol sí nada más pero eh, el original, el que empezó a utilizarse hace mucho tiempo, era ese, el, el MFAO. Luego incluso hubo un grupo de, de música electrónica eh, que se llamaba así. I don't know if you guys ever, ever, ever um, heard anything about that group, but yeah. Now, IRS. I know that you guys have family in the U.S. I know that at least one of you has heard about IRS once in your life. 
because it's something that people in the US have to fight against basically all the time. Um, because yeah, and mostly people who have some sort of uh, business have to like deal with the IRS. So, um, how about you, Luis? Do you have any idea of what the IRS can be? Yes, I I know that IRS is a uh, the iron no resistance. Ooh, yeah, that's another one. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, that's another yeah. one. Yeah, I will say that. Yeah, that's the Ireland resistance. But this one, this IRS is from the US. Y como les decía, oh, that was poetic. But this IRS uh, has to do with uh, money and with business in the in US. So, sorry? In in la renta. Renta. <laughs> Basically, it's the renta. Sí. Internal uh, Revenue Service. So IRS. Internal okay, Revenue. Okay, I, 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 I was confused in that. <laughs> no, I mean the yeah, Irish. Yeah. The Irish. No, no, sir. Don't be sorry because the Irish resistance is is like that as well. You know, the Irish resistance is also IRS. Uh, but this one is from the U.S. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's Internal Revenue Service. It's básicamente eh, la renta. Sí. IRS. It's basically that. How about UPS? UPS. This is another common acronym that we see very often. Um, maybe oh, Imelda. La tienda de peluches. <laughs> la tienda de peluches. Yeah. Había una tienda de peluches aquí. Yeah. Oh. UPS. Oh, okay. Uh, but this UPS is from the U.S. again. Um, so yeah. Uh, this one is the United Parcel Service. Do you guys know what's the meaning of the word parcel? The language talks the mm. snake <laughs> Harry Potter. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that too. <laughs> yeah, that's that's I, I kind but of it's saw true. That. Yeah, I saw that coming. La, oh, well. la, that is a lot similar to FedEx. Yes, the UPS is very similar to FedEx. That's right. Okay. They do okay. a very yeah. Oh, it is also cool. also very similar the, the, the to the movies is is uh-huh. They have UPS. And also the other one, como es el otro, el, el amarillo is uh, DHL. DHL basically it's it's similar, you know, to the UPS. Uh, so the UPS um works hand to hand with the USPS. The USPS, no. Oh yeah, yeah, the USPS, yeah, USPS, which is the United Service, oh, no, Postal Service, uh, something. But the thing is that. Es el correo de Estados Unidos, but the UPS is a private version, and uh, they were like the the ones who started the whole thing. Then you know there there came the the DHLs, the FedEx, the everything. Uh, but yeah, the United Parcel. Then esa es la palabra que quiero que me digan o que quiero que piensen que puede significar sabiendo a qué se dedican estas personas. ¿Qué podría ser Parcel? Repartir. Partir. Nice idea. Repartir. Oh, repartir. Ajá. Basically, yes, parcel is, se encarga de eso. See, a parcel is basically carrying things, you know. So, yeah, a parcel is a messenger, someone who brings a message. So, the United Parcel Service is the um, the delivery, uh, the United Delivery Service, to, to say it in a different way. So, very good, great. How about SIM? Este no es no SIM, sí, es SIM, nada más. So, SIM. What do you think SIM can mean? SIM, like we all have a SIM card on our phones. De eso, de ese SIM estoy hablando. Sí, the SIM que tenemos en el teléfono. Sorry, en el teléfono, el SIM card. So what idea do you have, guys, from the word or from the acronym SIM? Services, mobile, um, something like that. Hmm, sounds great. Yeah. Our system? Uh, so, sorry? System? The the word... S? The word, aha, uh -huh, the word system was not included in the list. <laughs> it was su <laughs> subscriber, <laughs> subscriber identification module. So it's basically, you know, a way uh, for Claro, como Imelda, como, perdón, como Lorena dijo ya ratos. So it's a way for Claro to know that it's you. So it's a subscriber identification module. A sim is present in all things that contain a or that are used to like provide you a service. For example, on the modem of your house or the Wi-Fi modem in your house, there has to be a SIM. 
because that's what's going to um identify you you know as as you it's going to make you different from the rest of the customers that they have so yeah it's a subscriber identification module and nowadays i feel like me basically everything has a sim um yes it's, it's like a do you for for the the technology for technological devices yes that's right okay how about ps it's not playstation how about well, PS? post post something some post postscript okay yeah postscript and do you have an idea of what a postscript is no i i i gonna ask you about uh -huh. it uh, have you guys ever written a letter and then at the end, I mean, it was way more common back in the day. For example, my dad, he has so many letters that he sent when he was in the US and he had this, this practice. He used to do this kind of thing. He used to do a lot of postscripts. So a postscript is like when you're done writing your letter and you remember something else. So you add another detail. And in Spanish, we know this as a postdata. So a mm, postscript, mm -hmm. yeah. a postscript. Oh. Uh huh. So my dad, as I said, he used to he used to write casi otra carta más solo de postdata. <laughs> Te lo juro que está gracioso. Hace tiempo que no revisamos las cartas, pero antes las revisábamos seguido y era como que las cartas de él traían hasta siete postdata. Yo como ay dios. <laughs> le ponía le, le da cinco dólares a tal, le da cinco dólares al otro y para que se lo gaste no sé qué. And I'm like ah oh, sí. So yeah, I mean but. You know, there, it was very hard to like get access to a phone, at least here in El Salvador. So it was harder to like call my 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 grandpa or my mom. So that's why he he will do, just like do so many postscripts. So it's like he was writing two letters in 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 one. All right. How about ESPN? Um, let's see. I don't know. If, are you into sports, Luis? Do you like sports? Training. Yes. <laughs> um, do you watch ESPN? Yes. Do you have any idea of what it means? ESPN is a a channel news. Uh huh. It's a news but channel. Only, only they they have news in sports. Mm -hmm. Football. It's, a, it's a very long name. ESPN. And here you guys have it. And yes, Imel, uh, Lorena. No sé por qué me ando confundiendo Lorena con Imelda. Pero bueno, <laughs> it does contain it's the okay. word entertainment. Mm -hmm. so, it's entertainment and sports programming network. So that's ESPN. It, sometimes, you know, these sort of things. Imagine if we didn't use acronyms. Imagine how weird it will be to like know some of these things. Like everyone, every time someone needs a SWAT um, team, Saying, oh, yeah, I need a special weapons and tactics. Instead of saying, oh, yeah, we need the SWAT. It sounds way better to say the SWAT. Or if every time people were, were to talk about the FBI, they will say, oh, yeah, we're going to send the Federal Bureau of Investigation to see to that. So it will be very weird. Or the same here. Instead of having ESPN on your TV, you will have the Entertainment and Sports Programming Network. That would be very, very weird. So I'm so thankful for acronyms. Now we have the last one. This is the last one. Sip. So it's not. It's not a sip. It. It's a sip. Okay. Yeah. It's a sip code. Basically, it comes from that. Por eso les digo, it's not a sip. It. The sip it is como el callarse. No, it's not, this one is a sip code. So Imelda, sorry. No, it's sipper. <laughs> oh, kind of. So, son, son improvement plan. Son improvement plan. Hmm. Sounds like an interesting idea. However, let me see. Uh, Ms. Garcia, do you have any idea of what a zip code can be or like the zip means in the zip code? Um, no, maybe the I is for information. Hmm, okay, maybe. How about Carla, do you have any idea? This is the ultimo, así que por eso les digo, I want to hear your ideas. Do you have any idea of what I... What comes to mind when you hear about SIP? I really don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Is it Sorry, teacher, but I don't have an idea about uh, what's the meaning of these Sip. letters. Okay, that's okay. Um, how about um, how about you, Leslie? Do you have any idea of what SIP can be? Mm -hmm. 
sound international. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> well, not even close. It was sound improvement plan. So yes. But Lorena... I say so. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That, sorry, yeah, you did, you did. So Lorena was very, very close, you know, with her guests. Oh. So yeah, it's sound improvement plan code. Es básicamente, eh, ah, conste esto del code, eh, esa parte, porque normalmente el zip es así, uh, zip code, oh, sorry, al revés, zip code, sí, eso es como lo normal, ¿verdad?, como se escribe, pero, eh, ya, yeah, it's a zone improvement plan, así que, sí, o sea, a, a, um, a ver, la cosa es que como la sociedad va cada vez creciendo más y más y más y más, eh, las zonas, ¿verdad?, se van haciendo igual cada vez más grandes, las colonias y todo eso. Entonces, lo que se trata de hacer con el CEP es tratar de siempre seguirle la, el, el paso al, al, um, al mejoramiento que hay en los lugares y entonces también ir asignándole como un número específico a cada una de estas zonas. Entonces, el CEP es casi como el código postal, ¿sí? Pero pues para nosotros es sencillo, ¿verdad? Código postal, sabemos que se yo usa. Pensé, para... Yo lo... Ajá. Yo lo asocié a, a la carpeta así que se, que se usa en las computadoras. Oh, that was, yeah, that was, that was close. Yeah, that was, that was, you know, like a nice idea. Pero no, en este caso es básicamente como el código postal. O sea, se utiliza para identificar en qué zona estás, básicamente. So yeah, that's the zip code. Uh, you should the... give us uh, some list about the, those that the people wrote right in WhatsApp. Like, oh... OM, oh my, OMG. Yeah, oh my God. Oh my God. O, o, o those, because they, they use a lot of those. And I don't uh, know. That. Okay. Uh, maybe, for example, we have this one BRB. This one means uh, uh, be right back. Oh my. Right back. <laughs> so it means that I'll, 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 you know, I'll be back in a minute. Uh, we have, for example, um, uh, da, 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 um, a ver, TVH. Uh, or BTW, uh, uh -huh. by the way. By the way, yeah. Uh, BT TVH is to be honest. To be honest. <laughs> yeah, we have BTW, as you said, Leslie, and it's uh, by the way. We have, for example, this one, ONW, which means on my way. On my way. Uh, we have, uh, what else? Help me out. Um, Gabby, do you have an idea? <laughs> do you ever use um, this acronym? THX, thanks. Oh, uh, yeah, THX, that's right. THX, well, this one is in, in lowercase. So THX, which is thanks. thanks. Mm -hmm. Uh, we have this one, XO, XO. And that means um kisses and hawks. Oh hawks. Yeah. <laughs> Will be uh, K, no, in, in, instead of X. Um yeah, but people do X. XOXO means kisses and hawks. It's like do you use it at the end of a letter, for example, or an email? Um what else? Uh, uh I don't remember right now. There are tons of things that, that people use, but I don't remember many. Um, Leslie, any other? <laughs> I'm thinking. <laughs> yeah, I need I need uh back come on, back up here. Oh, let me see. Well it's a we have, for you. Yeah, we had that one, the lol one, which is uh laughing out uh -huh. loud. Yeah. I D K and then oh. Yeah, laughing care. laughing out loud. Oh yeah, the IDK, right? IDK. This one means I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. And I don't care. Yeah, and the IDC. Which is I don't care. You see, we know a lot of these things. <laughs> so yeah, uh, thank you, Melanie. Thank you very much. So yes, this is a list of the things you know that we can use on the phone. BRB. This one is uh, very common actually in conversations like people when you're having a conversation with them they can tell you oh brb brb uh basicamente están diciendo, ya regreso un, un ratito um tvh to be honest be by the btw by the way omw on my way uh th thanks xoxo kisses and hugs lol laughing out loud 
IDK, I don't know. IDC, I don't care. So yeah, okay. uh, we have more. So if you want, of course, I can share, you know, some of that information with you guys, but that's going to have to wait until Monday. Um, for now, all I have to do is basically thank you very much. Oh yeah, and I didn't tell you. I once I was actually gonna share, uh, this thing that was um subordinating conjunctions. This has way more to do with, of course, um the whole like learning idea. Um, so maybe we can get to work on that as well. You know, for for following classes because I know that conjunctions are tricky and they can confuse us. And uh, so yeah, we are going to be uh, touching base with that as well. For now. Thank you guys very much for your attention and participation. And uh, I hope you have an amazing weekend. And I hope, you know, that we are going to be seeing one another on Monday. So bye-bye for now. And see, see you. See you tomorrow. <laughs> okay, see you tomorrow.